All right, so starting the next day, what the hell? So this must be a shelf stalker. Also looks like an actual stalker as well. Just remember all caps when you spell the man name. Hey, man. Y'all see what the f*** going on. We back at it. We playing Supermarket Simulator, episode number seven. If you guys haven't seen any of the other episodes, feel free to go on my channel and check those out. Also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, turn the bell notifications on. That way, anytime I upload a video, you guys will be notified. Other than that, we're going to jump right into it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, guys. So we back at it. You remember last time we were playing this? We ended up buying this expansion over here. Our cashier's still hanging around, kicking it. We are starting to run low on most of the stock. You guys can see we currently have $167.84. We will head to the market. You guys already know, like we've been doing, we're going to start buying two of everything. We don't have too much money right now, so we're only going to be able to buy certain things for the meantime. Once we get into the groove of things, it won't be an issue. All right, so we maxed out our shopping cart, and our total is going to end up being $146.64. We're going to have just enough, so we'll purchase that. And since we do have our cash here, we can go ahead and open for the day. He can start taking customers. I'm going to go ahead and start stocking the shelves. All right, so I started putting some of the overstock back in this corner i think we'll start using this as a storage area inside of here for the meantime i know eventually we can upgrade the storage on the outside we'll go over here and check it out really quick so you guys remember we bought this we haven't put anything inside of here yet i think the next expansion upgrade we can do for this will allow us to use the door that's on the other side you guys can see this door right here that says locked and we're not able to access that quite just yet i think if we do the next expansion upgrade for the storage room we'll be able to open this door and then we'll have all that area for storage and then we can do whatever we want with this area Area. keep expanding inside of here as well okay so now we'll keep ordering more of the things that we need that's all we're gonna be able to do for right now start filling up a second cart we actually have enough to buy the next cart so we'll buy that as well all right so the next cart's ready to go we don't have enough money for it right now but until then we'll start stocking some of the stuff in the fridge and the shelves all right that is all the items i've bought this far you guys can see the fridge is looking a little more stock this shelf starting to look a little more stock we still got to work on this one this one as well and this side also since that is all of our customers we will close the sign and then we will end our day day 41 our income was 830 dollars and 20 cents our supply costs were 629 dollars and 32 cents total profit for the day was 288 dollars and our balance for the day is 368 dollars and 73 cents we can open up right off the bat make sure we go pay all of our bills we got one more left so we'll be able to pay that soon all right we have enough to pay our final bill we finally have enough to purchase our next basket of items same thing we've been doing start grabbing everything and start stocking the shelves there's another cartload of items delivered all right last customer for the day day 42 our income was 974 dollars and 65 cents supply costs were 563 dollars and 62 cents we paid 240 for rent bills were 55.80 total profit for the day was 411 dollars and three cents leaving us with a balance of 403 dollars and 95 cents we will head to the market hit our basket purchase all these items so our next cart is going to be 561 dollars so it's going to be a little while before we get to that in the meantime you guys already know One thing we want to make sure we do is go pay our bills really quick so they don't stack up too crazy. I'm also trying to use up a lot of this overstock that we have. So that way I know I'm not buying too much of the same thing that we don't need. Alright, so we finally made it to the end of the items that we have. There's some new items that I haven't bought yet. However, we do have a bunch of stuff that we just ordered. So I'm definitely getting the shelf stocked up pretty good. Like it was once before. You guys can see I got this whole side filled. A good majority of this side filled. We have these three rows of shelves we got to fill. But we got a bunch of new items coming in. So we'll take care of that no problem. Looks like people have been buying a bunch of stuff on this shelf as well. I've been trying to keep the fridge stocked pretty well. We have this new fridge that I bought last episode. That we got to fill up with stuff. Some of the new items that we're buying I think are refrigerated items as well. So this will work perfect for that. But it looks like our cashier is done with everything. So we will end the day. Day 43. Our income was one thousand thirty dollars and sixty nine cents supply cost seven hundred ninety nine dollars and fifteen cents rent was eighty bills were thirty one fifty two total profit was two hundred thirty one dollars and fifty four cents leaving us with a balance of four hundred forty three dollars and ninety seven cents for the day so we're back at it opening up right away we're still waiting to get to that 540 mark so that way we can buy the next 10 items in our basket we will pay the bills right off the bat just to get them out of the way so i was looking at the storage tab and it looks like the next section we can purchase is section two you guys can 
can see that's going for $800. So I think that'll be the next thing that we're gonna buy because if we look at the product licenses, the next one's $1,100. The next expansion upgrade for the supermarket is section six. You guys can see that's $4,400. It's just a matter of time before we get there. We'll get to that point eventually where we'll get all those expansions. We're really gonna start taking off now that I'm filling the shelves back up with all these expensive items. All right, so we finally have enough to purchase our last basket of items. Start figuring out places for these new items that we're getting. We also got to be quick of listing the actual price we want to sell them for as well. That way people don't grab them off the shelves and start buying them for basically market price. All right, so there's all of the products we can currently buy. We have room for one more item on the bottom shelf right here. And then we also have room for two different items on both of these shelves in the fridge. Other than that, everything else is completely taken out. All right, there goes the last customer for the night. So I ended up moving all of our stock right here. This is literally everything we have left over overstock. We don't have any boxes behind the counter. I moved all the boxes that were over here along this wall. We used them all up and then moved them over here. So I end the day. So day 44, our income was $1,191.08. Supply costs were $548.72. Rent was 80. Bills were 31.21. Total profit was $642.36, leaving us with a balance of $895.12 for the day. So now that our shelves are stocked pretty good, we go to the management tab and we're gonna hit storage. So now we finally have enough money to buy the next section for the storage. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. So it looks like this door is still locked. I don't think we made it quite yet. So the next section upgrade for this basically just open up this area over here. It may possibly be the next one where it'll push this wall back. I hope so. I'm honestly not too sure how much the next one was. So the next one's gonna be 1200 which isn't too bad so now that we have officially had rebought all of our items we're basically gonna do the same thing again just rinse and repeat so something else i remember we can do so if we go to the management tab you guys can see where we have our first cashier hired but if you guys look below that we have a restocker we meet all the requirements minus purchasing a rack so i'm gonna go out of this back to the market and then you guys can see at the bottom we have a small rack that's 200 dollars we'll buy one of those all right so here's our rack so do we put the rack inside of here i would imagine we'll put it right there just like that so now that we have the small rack we can go back to the management tab we meet all the requirements so we'll hire the restocker so now that we've done that we'll go back to the products okay so since it's after 9 p.m we'll have to wait to order more items and it looks like we got to buy a light for inside of here as well let me go look at that really quick see how much that is so lights only 40 dollars. we'll end up buying quite a few of those because i know we still need to light up this area right here and then i also want to put some more lights in here start lighting up the aisles all right last customer gone for the night so day 45 our income was 1371 dollars 94 cents supply cost was 158 dollars 23 cents upgrade cost was a thousand total profit was 213 dollars 71 cents leaving us with a balance of 928 dollars 83 cents for the day all right so starting the next day what the hell so this must be our shelf stalker also looks like an actual stalker as well we'll go back to the market and i'll place this order buy like eight of these lights i know we'll need them eventually even if we don't use all of them now that we have this guy we will take the boxes and stick them on the shelves and see what happens oh shit there he goes look at him look at him he's a natural all right well i guess we'll just keep sticking items on the shelf i suppose it wouldn't be a bad idea to buy a second or even third shelf i know they're only 200 dollars, so they're really not too bad so honestly makes it a lot easier just to stick these on the shelves and have him go and stock everything got one of these lights we'll stick one right there i think we'll put about three lights in here actually uh, about right there i'll take one of these stick it maybe right there another one maybe right there so we'll stick that like so day 46 income was 912 dollars 62 cents supply cost 509 dollars 13 cents upgrade cost 600 rent was 160 bills 62.55 Total profit was $196.51, and our balance for the day was $509.78. Get the customers coming in so we can get this next upgrade as soon as possible. All right, our last customer is finally leaving, so we're ending the day with $1,117. We're getting super close to that $1,200 mark we need for the next expansion for our storage room. All right, there's that $1,200 mark we've been waiting for, so now we will hit section three to purchase. All right, so now we finally have the store open. So since we did that, we're gonna have to move this shelf out of the way. All right, so that's awesome. I'm glad we finally got this opened up. So now we can just go in and out through
through here. We don't have to consistently keep going in and out around out front. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that as well. Also, feel free to go on my channel. Go check out some of my other videos. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.